<laughs> hey, my friends, let's see if I can get that up there again. Okay, uh, Mark Jimmy on YouTube here. I'm watching a Pob Night uh, time video here. He's in his, obviously, uh, 2024 uh, Mustang there. I didn't catch what if it's a Mach 1 or GT350 or R or straight GT there, but uh, <laughs> see if see if YouTube lets that go. <laughs> there. Um, so this is the beginning of my uh, YouTube channel uh, for uh, about Mustang, about the Mustang, my Mustang life here. Um, I'll try to keep this short because. I have fun talking. Oh, one of my pear trees, the leaves are coming out already. Um, so, I live in a tiny little uh, Indian town uh, called Pawnee, Oklahoma. Uh, there. Um, I've been here uh, the middle of April, will be a year. That passed so fast. <laughs> it's agonizing due to stuff that's going on in this nation, on this planet there. But we've got this uh, there. So, um, and I've, I've done a whole lot to the to the property here. And, and now I own the place next door. I'm, it's, I'm gonna, my next video will be what that's about. Uh, there, but uh, so uh, I've had I've had two Mustangs in my life uh, so far uh, here, and uh, <laughs> see my forest. I own, own these four lots back here too. That, that forest is mine. <laughs> I fucking love this. <laughs> Here's all I got. Just over an acre. Here, just over an acre in the, inside of this tiny little town. You can hear the train going through. The train's back over that way. So, my first one was when I was in the Navy during Nam there. And it was a 69... Uh, Mustang 302 just straight Mustang it was gold with a, a black front and rear spoiler I had 10 inch wide tires all the way around I understand that's called squared now <laughs> I'm learning, starting to learn the terms here and uh, it's an automatic you know 302 there I loved it there and it so uh, I used to drive from uh, the base there, the Navy base in Alameda uh, in, into L.A. in, uh, in three and a half hours uh, there and uh, with normal speed limit uh, there it takes eight hours. So I, uh, a buddy of mine uh, that I would drop off and met at in the Magic Mountain area, he had a friend that had a uh, an Impala with a 409 in it, and he uh, had gotten a speedometer out of uh, an airplane that goes up to 200. So he said, "Hey, drop him back at me here. Stick your hand out the window when you're topped out there, because my speedometer went up to 140, and my and it just keep going and going there. So maxed out at 167 miles an hour." There, so that was my first one. There, and my second one, I had that one for about two years. Uh, there, and then I, my second one, uh, was after my uh, second, after my third, yeah, after my third divorce, my third and last. <laughs> there. Young men, don't ask me about getting married. <clears throat> so, um. And it it uh, was an 89.50. Uh, uh, currently at the 
the you know there's my profile image and then the 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 bigger image and back and that's uh, um, that's a picture of uh, of that uh, 8950 there. I don't have a picture that would fit so you could see the whole damn thing there. It's a little frustrating, but uh, so that's that was my uh, second Mustang there, and uh, I. I over that uh, 10, 11, 12 years that I had that uh, there, I put about 20 grand into it. It was 5,000 when I bought it, and I already had um, some things uh, there. And, uh, So I got it up to uh, the mechanic I worked with, and I it was, it was nice to be able to work with him and do some of it there with the first mechanic down in uh, the L.A. area, and then the second one when I was uh, living up in uh, Las Vegas there, working with him, and just just completely redid it in, inside and out there. With, it was black. Is uh, when I got it there and uh, there, and so um, I think we got it up to about 300, um, 360, 370 horse to the rear wheels there. Just in adding, you know, we added this, and that should approximately add this much, and we add this, and that should add this much. So like that there whether it was or not i don't know but i had a fucking hell of a lot of fun with it um there so my third one um i've been watching a lot of videos learning a whole lot here uh and uh and then had a conversation with stita because i'm gonna i think i'm that's gonna be like a one of my first road trips. I'm in Pawnee and there in Georgia there. So um, that's what I'm aiming at. There's this, I'll, I'll drive it down there and have suspension work done uh, first. The suspension, maybe the wheels and tires. We'll see. Um, there, I'm going to. I've got a 2011 Honda Odyssey. I bought that at the end of my van life. You know, sold the one I fixed all up uh, there and lived, did van life for two years. And I wanted to, uh, as I moved back into Vegas, to be with my dad while he was spending his last days here on the planet. And uh, I still wanted to... Uh, 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 get out uh, for the weekends and for a week uh, at a time here and there. So I bought a 2011 Honda Odyssey uh, from CarMax and I've just been thrilled. To me, it's been like a sports car that I can take everything with me, you know, and like a pickup truck. The second row seats is I took out and the back ones I laid down, so it's like an open van uh, there. But... Uh, uh, I'm not going to trade it in there because I'll, <laughs> by selling it myself, I'll get another, you know, <laughs> um, you know, four, uh, another like four, forty, four thousand, forty five hundred for it. And I can buy some damn nice bolt on parts with that amount of cash there. So, uh, selling that and I'll, Probably uh, get uh, uh, nine thousand ninety three hundred for it, and I will have uh, saved up a few more thousand. And I understand Steve will do on time too, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do a chunk of stuff at once. Um, there, uh, if I know, well, as I get closer to that, I'll. Um, 
and you know get down to specifically what that'll be there with them there um so i'm paying off two uh as a fucking a <laughs> reward to myself for getting my getting home again after my own home and property after 22 years um there i uh uh had best buy bring over uh uh you know new refrigerator new over under washer and dryer uh there and then an 85 inch fucking sony flat screen it's really nice really fucking nice and then uh another <laughs> like uh three thousand dollars for an amp and these fucking blow your mind speakers there makes my whole house vibrate and wakes the neighbors up uh there uh so um uh i just uh <clears throat> uh a little over three thousand pay off on that and then uh for for this this place here that was only forty seven hundred dollars okay the inside uh the outside looks fine the inside kitchen was torn apart had the floor out the bathroom everything was ripped out of that the floor was out and there and uh I bought because I didn't want any damn neighbors here, so I can turn my damn stereo up as loud as I want there. So I turned that into a garage, and that will be my second video here. Garage workshop storage. There was two, two, this was a pretty okay looking um, shed here. This is the floor from the add on part of it that I've moved back this way so I have another deck here so I can sit out here and look at the stars at night and stuff and then there's a real over over here there's a real <laughs> fugly old thing all rusted and falling apart full of shit <laughs> just fucking thrown in there and uh, there I won't go into that but <laughs> those are out there and really opens this up uh here but so i'm i'm really excited uh it's been god oh boy i was in vegas and i moved to india and lived in india for two years there and as so las vegas is the last that's when i had the 5-0 when i built up a, a 74 Chevy C10 short bed step side there done you know put about 20 grand into that so that was the last time I had hot rods there so two years in India there no hot rods had a had a bought a brand new uh, Honda 175 scooter there for under a grand brand new from the dealer there and then right from that into van life with an 89 Ford F-250 upgraded a one-ton ex an extended van and ended up with a 24-inch uh, fiberglass top on top of it so I could stand up in there living in forests and long rivers and hot springs and lakes and the beach and stuff. Uh, indescribable. Indescribable there. So two, that's four years. And then into Vegas for a year and a half there. Uh, sold that. Honda Odyssey moved out to get back to green and water there, Tulsa for a year and a half, and now here for uh, uh, what, 10 months now, 11, something, 10, March, April. So um, there, so a number of years since I've had a hot rod here, and so damn, I am ready. I am ready. <laughs> so many so many cool things you can do to your mustangs i've been watching so many videos and and, and just the last few days i found uh um you know mustang week uh 
there and just looking at all of those and just really dialing in what I want to get first, suspension there. And then it could be like headers and then like, a, I believe it'll be, uh, um, still going back and forth on X, uh, X pipe or S, H pipe there, but uh, cat backs like the Corsica Loud um, there. So uh, I'm looking at uh, like a 2019-2020 uh, premium there with the uh, what do you call it? The analog, the new with the tack will go up like that, and the other gauges you can put in there. So that, and then with the eight-inch screen there manual six speed for fucking sure uh there um gt gt because i figure with what i'm doing to it it'll uh i don't i i love the uh shelby's gt 350s 350rs uh, Mach 1 and, and stuff. Those are all cool, but I don't know. I just uh, I think I can make uh, I've, I can see where I can make it uh, just as good or better uh, there. I mean, with all the add-on parts, I, I think you can <laughs> I want a road machine uh, here. I'm, I'm not into drag racing i'll go through two or three gears just to have fucking fun with somebody uh there but just to have fun not to i'm not looking to win just to have fun uh there but i like i like the open road uh there and uh so uh only 17 minutes wow uh so uh I want to do uh, videos of, uh, like the first one will be the, the garage here. And it's going to be about eight or nine months before I have my 5.0. I'm going to pay these two loans off uh, there. It's uh, about $6,500 or so. I'm going to have those paid off um, March, April. Uh, by the by uh, April May by uh, I think May 1st I'll have those two loans paid off and then then I'm saving damn near everything I might get a t-shirt or something <laughs> here or there uh, there but save 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 uh, there and I want to get uh, so looks like uh, October or November I'll have about 12 13 grand there and then I that way I can put a healthy down payment uh, on the uh, on the 2019 or 2020 Mustang GT that I uh, that I'll get there and um so about october november uh there and i'm just learning a whole lot in the process getting the garage done uh here and uh, as soon as spring gets here where i can start planting there's some more trees uh to plant i'll get a uh these river birch uh, river birch and ask Google what they look like. Pretty damn cool. Well, I'm gonna get two or three more of those uh, there, but other than that, just save, save, save here and, and uh, get my next Mustang, which will be my third, my third Mustang there. Um, there, so I'm looking forward to doing some videos of driving. It, <clears throat> since it's just past 17, it's a little bit ago, 17 minutes. Um, so I'm gonna do videos. Um, I'm, I'm 
mostly going to have other people do the work, like like Stita there, and there's a cool mechanic here in town. He's built two gassers himself, one for him, one for his daughter. He's a hot rod, you know, car dude uh, there. So um, right with him, be some things I'll be able to do there, but it's not so much of a how-to. I'll just be uh, probably not at all any how-to <laughs> there. It'll just be, <laughs> hey, these parts came in. Look at this. Hey, these parts are on. Check it out. <laughs> Videos. And then uh, more of uh, of uh, driving around here, some, you know, POV videos, driving around here during the day and, and night here. It's a tiny little town here. Can you see up yeah, right up there? Those are the water tanks right there, uh, here. Um, so around here, can you see my old Buick that's on the property? Back there is like a... 50s model Buick right back there sitting on the frame and over here there's like a 60s uh, Dodge Dart. It's white back there. Um, but, uh, you know, and, and the, the open highways around here, some uh, POV drives on, on those and get out by some of the lakes and stuff. And sit there and enjoy that. You know, and then the drive, and then I, I'm, and then, uh, then it kind of van life, but with my, but with my 5.0 Mustang, um, there, and uh, I know all about uh, uh, how to find free campsites and national forests and BLM land and the like. There, you can see the Buick some more. Right over there, my right arm is getting sore. So I can do this without dropping it or turning it off. Here, can we get the dodge dart? Yeah, there's a dart. <laughs> right there, I told him, yeah, and leave every leave the things on the property that are there. These, <laughs> you know, like no problem. So, yeah, so I own another. 50, 60 foot that way, and then on up to the road, and then it's 150 foot from the middle of this road uh, back in here. So all of this here, but yeah, these POV drives, I want to, so I, I, you know, and that'll be like in um, New Mexico, Arizona, Colorado, Idaho, um, California, uh, there, uh, and then, uh, you know, like California, fucking big sur for goddamn fucking sur there. Uh, oh my god, if you've never driven the one up there, you gotta put it on your bucket list, man. Uh, and then Northern California, I'll get up through the redwoods and, and along the beaches, I'm a I've got 45 plus years in SoCal. There are a lot of time, a lot of time at the beaches. And the second year in in India, there I lived right on the right on the beach, the top of the cliff. There for a year after a year in Rishikesh, right on on the in the Himalayas and with the Ganga River going by there. But I'm a beach guy, so driving up along the coast, you know, there even like down. PCH through Huntington Beach and Main Street there and on down through Costa Mesa and uh, Sunset Beach and on down to Laguna and stuff, you know, over the, you know, as, as, as the months and years roll by, I hear those are some of the things there and up around in Oregon and, uh, around Mount Hood and the beaches of Oregon. Holy Jesus. Oh, man. Have you ever seen that? The forest 
coming right down to the beaches and the rivers, you know, one river after another, kind of dumping in the ocean. And the coastline there, there's a, there's only 11% of that that's private there. The rest is all open there, and as long as you got enough room to be safely off the road, you can stay there. You can, you can, uh, not, I wouldn't do the two weeks like in the National Forest and BLM land, but, you know, spend two, three days and then drive up the road half a mile and to another where the river's coming out and two or three days there. So I'm going to have my, there's these, I'll, I'll show a picture of it at some point there somehow. Uh, there, there's these cool pop-up tents that are like 10 by 10. It takes you like 45 seconds or something to pop up. And, uh, and there, so I'll have that there. And probably just, we'll see, but probably just a, a cooler because I can, I can get my, my, Greek vanilla yogurt and my cottage cheese and my protein powders there and seasonings and stuff in there. I'll get one of those cool little burner things so I can make my coffee and have my protein and collagen and turmeric and ginger and chocolate, sugar-free chocolate syrup there. My coffee drinks are a, are a meal or a protein drink there because I'm very into fitness uh, here. Hey, you want to take uh, 200 pounds, make your Mustang 200 pounds lighter? Lose 200 pounds. <laughs> oh, oh, did I say that? <laughs> yeah, I, I point to Greg Doucette, you on YouTube uh, there in his anabolic cookbook. Uh, there, <clears throat> uh, there, just, uh, just, it's just science, man. It's so, you, he's got that cookbook. There, just pick a few recipes, are very simple. I'm not a chef, I don't have any interest in doing all kinds of fancy stuff. I just want simple, I'm hungry, food. <laughs> there, and I've gone from 222 pounds. Uh, down to uh, 163, and I've added about um, seven or eight pounds of muscle there, so you can learn how to uh, get to the body fat level that you are thrilled about, and if you're interested, you can add some ma muscle mass there, so calories in, calories out, and cardio there, so, uh, and he, I, although he rides a races, you know, the street bikes, you know, pedal kind and has a an exercise bike, you know, and races people online and stuff. He he says that the glider is the more efficient way of burning body fat. It's like a like cross country skiing there. And so that's what I've got there and I love it. I can ride it while I'm watching uh, Mustang Week. <laughs> there um yeah it's just life is so much more fun there's so much more you can do you have so much more energy um there and you don't have to anyway kind of getting into fitness there and I, but uh yeah i follow greg Doucette, and there's another fella on there mike something or other both of these are big guys uh they're they're both very funny and fun and and highly intelligent uh, about uh, the fitness life there. So I'm I'm so uh, <laughs> boy getting that that next Mustang, man oh man. Man, oh man, be my third one. I'm really th thrilled about the 19 and 20. I'm not, the uh, the 24. I they they took the, the like the creases out from the side. You know how it comes. They they took those creases out. I don't like that. They made it smooth like a baby's ass. 
or something. I don't, I don't like that, and I don't like the, the two like big computer screens on there. No, uh -uh. they're not for me. It might give some of the rest of you wood, but not me. <laughs> not me. Uh, there, but I do like. I think they call it the analog. One where you can change it around and the lights and put other gauges in the middle and stuff. And oh, and I'll have active exhaust for damn sure um, there too. But I'm going to have a shitload of fucking fun uh, there with my, again, uh, and with my next Mustang. My third one there. So, hey. See you in the next video there. See you in the next video there. Oh, and who knows where all I'll get some more ink as we go along too. Down to, I'm damn near all covered from from head to the waist. There's some around my ankles, on my toes there, but uh, I love it. I love <laughs> I love ink. There, so there'll be more in the, as we go there. If you know a, an artist that uh, is unvaxxed, you know, a pure blood uh, ink artist who is also conscious about spiked proteins, or if you are one, let me know uh, here. Um, once I get uh, my 5.0, I'm Mustang uh, there. You know, will travel, will travel there. Might have just pissed some people off, but so what? I'm taking care of my fucking health uh, here. <clears throat> go to go to Rumble and uh, do a search for hashtag hashtag uh, spike proteins there. Yeah, I'll scare the shit out of you. So anyway. I'll, uh, yeah, any any suggestions or uh, there and recommendations and stuff, you know, uh, please. Uh, uh, I look forward to your feedback. There, uh, not that I'll do it. But <laughs> I look forward to your feedback uh, there. If you can add videos of your ride, that uh, that that'd be super cool there. Or you know of uh, Mustang meetups or what coffee and cars that would uh, it'd probably be like in Stillwater or Tulsa or even Oak City uh, there. Let me know. There, I'm starting to watch, look for them. There, if you belong to a, a Mustang club, there's a Oklahoma Mustang club, if you remember there. Uh, uh, let's connect there. And so I'm going to sign off and then do another video about uh, my uh, my garage space there. All right, see you then.